So then we are back with the modern understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Itzayelic lineage, the very original manuscripts of the prophets. So then we can understand the time of the end, per Yerushiaku the prophet, we find then layers of understanding of the restoration period where then the cities of the Messiah laid a waste for many centuries are returning and then also the Gentiles would include it. So let's understand regarding then the restoration also of the Gentiles so then we can make a relation with uh, Daniel the 11th chapter. So then in America at the moment the presidents are presidents. There are no presidents, only a president. So for some reason, those people, out of duty, are visiting with the existing president in Texas. Only God knows what reason for this scoundrelized reunion, because those people, most of them are out of duty. But let's understand, then, because there is a library that's going then involved with it, and then there are statues of old presidents, and blah, blah, blah. What did God say? Don't make any images. And there it is. They have these stupid statues in the midst of an area over there where it makes no sense. So then, why we have then the visit of these presidents involved in a time where we should be taxing properly? So obviously, the entire gang over there, they don't work. So let's find then the objective from the instructions so then we understand what's coming in the future not end up with these people filthy rich and they have no clue what's coming in the future and then they leave the nation adrift. Because our nation at the moment when the people realize the nation is adrift. There is no decent person in the helm of the country. It's a drift. Watch the news, there is nothing going on. But then, since America is a drift that has no direction, Europe, however, has some leadership from Germany, but unfortunately the Eurozone is not going to last for a long time. So let's understand Daniel. Daniel said regarding Europe, and the nations of the time would come together and adhere to each other, mixing up religion and their system of economy. Didn't work. So then, furthering the understanding, we find in Daniel the 11th chapter, where then we find ourselves understanding the Kingdom of the North, Soviet Union, Kingdom of the South, Africa, the Kingdom of the East, is two chapters later, Daniel 13. You find then Baal and the dragon. Baal means any other system of religion other than the precision of the dragon. Dragon is China. So then, as far as military is concerned, China has another plan for another flat top larger than the previous. So they have an existing flat top a ship, a warship, and then they have plans of building another. But let's try to understand then what's going to be caused in the future as far as the economy and the trade. So then the Messiah said, and then the freighters of the earth would be very abundant. Obviously, he saw the future. What is it going to cause for the system then to take care of itself? Firstly, we must understand and realize the Eurozone then must be isolated from the main system of China. Obviously, because it's going to generate instability in the system. So China should be very cautious what they invest in Europe because the Eurozone is breaking, liking it or not. Daniel must be completed as per instructions. So then we find in North America absolutely adrift. We are not doing our homework. And then we are not taxing as we should have. We are not lining up with the freighters of our country. We are not charging taxes. We are not charging as per the updating of the tax code. 
and we are expecting another result. So absolute insanity as far as the government is concerned. So then isolating then North America, isolating Europe. So we get left then with the 11th chapter of Daniel. That's our route. Clear path of the future is then Daniel the 11th chapter. Then we recognize then the kingdom of the north. Mr. Putin has then chargeship of the helm. He's in charge up there. The kingdom of the south we understand is Mr. Zuma. Has to have a representative linked up with the primary understanding of the system yet being generated. China, however, is concerned with their military because then they sense a threat from the West. China knows the United States is already extending its tentacles in Australia. Australia, unfortunately, is then cashing their future in very unstable plans. They are projecting their earnings of the future making huge plans and already starting out as with a 7.5 B's or then 7.5 billions already short. So are they expecting then in the future to project earnings and then already starting out in a deficit? You know what this means? Printing money festival. So then, until Mr. Tony takes the helm over there in Australia, don't expect too much from that place. Because it is having the same path as the United States, and thus far we are adrift. But then, money printing festival. As far as Japan, don't call on Japan either. They are already printing out more money trying to come up with an idea with the United States, Japan, and then Australia. So then let's make sure we understand then Daniel the 11th chapter because a clear path straight from heaven given more than 2,500 years ago. And the time is very short until 7032 or 2032. It's the maximum time given ever since the Messiah spent time with the Samaritans roughly 2,000 years ago. The time is expiring, so there is no other interpretation of Daniel 11. You find the Soviet Union, you find Africa, north and south. Then the East is concerned with their military, because then the Balian system is already trying to scandalize. But then Daniel does not let. Daniel gives us a very specific understanding. The Mishia then complements later the stating, the freighters of the earth are in charge. So how do we realize from where the Mishia is at in the future and coming to our time? We must understand when the system becomes available, when there is the solid relationship of China with the Soviet Union, China then hired the services of the Soviet Union as their managers, then China receives oil and gas. China then is protected. The dragon is protected. They don't mix anymore with the Balian system. Goes through the northern kingdom. Then the northern kingdom in turn visits with Mr. Zuma. He's responsible to visit with the other leaders of the African continent and come up with a plan. Plan of mining, planning of road, and planning of smeltering. That's the first step. And obviously building up more refineries and updating the ports. So it's not complicated. The situation is what makes it working is because the Creator gave the time and the season for it. That's why it works. So then, as far as China concerned with the military, they should not be concerned. Because the cause of their system, when it becomes available at the moment from China, Soviet Union, and Africa, when the Chinese system is protected and isolated from the other junkies, Europe, North America, at the moment Australia, because unfortunately they have the same path as the United States and Japan, printing money festival, 
then the primary system then is working itself, strengthening itself, using the resources of Africa, paying them what is due them, and then the system is protected. By this time, then, the other nations waiting then when the Chinese system becomes available for their countries also via computer. Then the countries involved with Chinese system, they are going to update their military to protect then the Chinese system itself. So China doesn't have to be concerned with their military as far as trying to protect their interests in the oceans. No, let the nations where they are at, they will protect the Chinese system themselves. Because it's a form of gain in doing so. But then it must establish a clear path through then the 11th chapter of Daniel, understanding then two chapters later, and then make sure then the main system starts then working. Then must have then a relationship with the East and North, establishing the North as the managers. Because the instability is coming. China is in a very big danger as far as investing their resources in areas of the world such as Africa and Europe. Because you don't find the West system in Daniel 11. Do you? No, you find North and South. And then you find only the East. There is no West. This means the Babylonian or the Balian system is then retrieving itself and giving away for then the trade of the East. So then it's very dangerous, for instance, for the Chinese investing their resources in areas of Europe, very unstable, and then North America, adrift. What's going on is simply printing out more money festival. So then we have a clear path of what's coming in the future. What these nations then should not do is try to come up with a plan of their own because it won't work. We've entered the calendar after 2009 and it can't be changed. The system is set in a certain way and it won't change. So then, obviously then, New Zealand would be the best place for a trading post in the South Pacific. At the moment is the best place on the Southern Island. Because then, promotes then provision, place of provision, water, place of fuel, and then a place of depot. So then, the aircrafts and the ships then can dock over there and make then New Zealand as distribution center of a vast area of the Pacific. Because believe it or not, the islanders are educating themselves. They are very smart. They are reading the computer. They understand what it means downloading. They understand economics. And they understand the Chinese system is coming very shortly where they can invest the resources in the system and receive their parcels. There is no midman anymore. So then obviously the best areas for the Pacific and the islands, make sure, update your port. Make sure there is nice and spacious port over there. A place of distribution of the parcels. And then, from then on, is educating the islanders how to use the computer. And being acquainted with eBay if they can. If they can receive over there a signal from the space... You can start playing with eBay and playing with PayPal because these are then the primary understandings of what the system is then coming. Then the Chinese system is similar as eBay and Bank of China would be your PayPal. It's not divulged yet. However, it is guarded.
So then we have a clear path of what's coming in the future. However, if nations they try to come together and scoundrelize themselves, then it's going to take more time and more risks. The more people invest in the wrong time and the wrong area, more unstable becomes. So if China is smart, they make a deal with the Northern Kingdom. Hire them as their manager. Shift every deal from China to the Soviet Union as root of paperwork. Not of work. Of paperwork. It does not mean the factory of China is going to be moved to the Soviet Union. It only means the paperwork. Only the deals, the visits, leaders coming to the country rather than going to China, going to the Soviet Union. Only the paperwork gets done. China do whatever they want. So let's say, then China wisely, they want a certain amount of tons of metal. They want iron, they want steel. In a certain amount. They simply send an email or a paperwork to the Soviet Union and let them deal with it. Then they either contact Africa or contact them Brazil and they get the product already smeltered. It's a part of being then manager. So then China can release itself for so much contamination of their air while then receiving the product for refinement or then the final product, or smelt or further, and then producing. And then North America, if they want to destroy themselves, go ahead. We are adrift anyway, we don't know where we are going. So as the entire European Union, they don't know where they are going. But we know for sure Daniel gives us the relationship of north and south. It is solid. Because then maintains the Chinese system protected. He simply places then the northern kingdom in charge of the main decisions of making sure any deal coming from other countries, they get filtered. They get backed up by production, they get backed up then by transportation, backed up then obviously via the smeltered materials. And then China simply receives what they want. So then we understand the system then of the East become then later available for the other countries. Because we are entering a virtual understanding of the economy. For instance, the Pacific, the islanders over there, far away, they are only going to read a certain amount of numbers in their computer. That's their money. It's no longer handling a piece of money piece. However, they could cash it as, but it's easier only doing the purchase via computer because then the boat can come to their island and deliver their parcels. And we in America, we are not doing anything. We are adrift. We don't understand the instructions. There we are then. And taxes over there. And placing up statues. And speaking of libraries. And blah, blah, blah. And then we are not working our taxation. And printing out more money festival. So the fastest then China makes a deal with Northern Kingdom, the best it gets. Because then their system becomes protected from the European Union and then North America. Because whatsoever China wants is found in Africa. That's why Africa is the third kingdom. Let's try to understand why then Africa was given the third kingdom. There is a reason for it. Because Africa has whatsoever is required for what then China wants. 
China doesn't have to go anyplace else. The reason is the protection of their system. Because Europe is unstable, and America pff, doesn't even count. And then South America is under the leadership of Mr. Putin already because he's in charge of the BRICS. So he shows you, the scripture is giving absolutely clear path for the future. So the situation is with Mr. Chi, Mr. Putin, Mr. Zuma. If they don't make a move, then nothing gets done.